All right, uh, my neighbor stopped by this morning, so he helped me put the battery in. I've already bolted it down the four bolts. There are four of these bolts, so I've already installed those. Also installed the the bolt uh, for the air duct. It's this, this bolt right here. So those are done. Next, uh, I guess I can take off the. Uh, homemade uh, handle that I made. There's just a couple of pieces of angle iron that I, that I got and put together. Worked very well. Just lifted it up, uh, stepped inside the car, lifted it up, and put it on the put it on the back um, ledge here on, uh, on, on the hatch and with the help of my neighbor lifted it down and that's it. And it weighed maybe, hey, it wasn't that hard to handle, about 70 pounds or so. All right, move on. All right, I've removed the handle, and I had some trouble getting this, this connector off, so I put a little bit of, uh, of silicone on this O-ring in here that, that weather seals it, so it won't, maybe it won't be so hard to get back off next time. So let's let's put that snap that back in. It snaps in really easy. It is hard to get out of there. All right, and I'm gonna replace place this back in the grounding wire. I should have taken that out first. I stored my my screw there. It had a little clip right here that needs to go in clip right in there and then we'll screw this down okay and then next I'll get these connectors in the rear we put the big one in first they're all different sizes so it's kind of hard to get them mixed up We'll just slide them all back into place and connect them back up. Okay, there's another one back here, and then there's two more in the in the rear. I'll show you that in a second. Okay, there are two more connectors back under here that need to be connected up. This was a, this was one that was fairly difficult to get off. The bottom one here, the larger of the two. Let's see if we can get it back in there. A little awkward positioning but there we got it in there it's not totally snapped in though let me snap it on the rest of the way there it goes all right and the one above it we'll get that one as well all right so those two are connected all of these look good all right, so we're all connected up, except for the main power. I'll do that next. All right, I'm connecting up the two main power leads. I've already connected the first one, the, the positive. Let me do the negative one here. Just a matter of bolting it down. So. up and there you go there's a clip here just clip it together and I'll torque it down whoops yeah. got the little snap clip here it's a snap through there all right so everything now I'm ready to tighten it down all right we're in good shape move on to the next task Next, I'm going to install the IPC braces. Uh, I stored the, the screws in their original holes. It's probably a good idea. But just have to screw it down. Yeah. Hard to hold the camera and install this at the same time, but there you go. Got it now. There's one screw. One bolt. Oops. I'll 
out to get, get I'm gonna have to take it out because I messed up over here. All right, so here we go. Try again. There you go. There's one bolt in, and here's the other, other bolt. I'm gonna do the same thing to the rear one. Here's the rear one. Again, I stored the, the bolt in the original hole. And I'll, remove, I'll take that out wedge right now, and then the other end is there. So there's the, the front brace, and I'll replace and start reinstall that next. So I've installed the mid frame brace. There are two screws at that end, two screws at that end, and then there are six in, in the front. I'll show you. There's six of them here, all in the front here. Uh, you can see that. Huh? Can't really see it. Oh, there, there they are. There's six of them. Along, along the front here. So I've installed those and torque goes down. Uh, next I'm just going to put the the cargo lid, the, the lid on and the and the other other as well. So that's next on the agenda. Okay I replaced the star foam inserts. Okay next is to put the IPC lid on. I'll do that next. Okay, we're done. We cargo lid, IPC lid is on, and also the undercover. So all that's on, and what I needed for that, I didn't, and also I needed uh, the 10 millimeter wrench, and also the torques. There, there are six torques, three on either side screws. So I needed the T30 for that, and then a 10 millimeter for the hex, and then for the for this one bolt in here, I needed uh, an eight millimeter. So we're ready to go. It's time to flip the switch and see if anything, see what happens. Let's pull the retainer off and we're gonna flip the switch. Yep, no fireworks. So next thing to do is to try to start the car. All right. All right, the car's running and we're starting to Starting to see some, something on the uh, IMA battery starting to charge up. So we got one bar now. So everything looks good so far. There's two bars. All right, 